the exhibition is about Namibia's popular music. Um, and it's a history that uh, disappeared. Um, and somehow there's a gap in our music history. Uh, people can talk about traditional music, people can talk about um, classical music, but when it comes to popular music, uh, between 1950s up to um, independence, which is uh, 1989 in Namibia, um, there's no knowledge or there's not much knowledge and there's also not much written about this music of that time. And, um, and we um, discovered this uh, by hearing one song um, at the broadcaster, the Namibian uh, um, broadcaster. And, um, and we asked everybody around uh, who is singing and what is this music about. And nobody could tell us any answers. And until we were guided to one of our colleagues who works at the broadcaster on the radio side, and, um, and he was also a veteran musician, still doing music today. And, um, and he had um, uh, information about the musician, and it happened to be Ben Mulazzi. And um, from there, we went to the National Archives of Namibia. We started looking for photography. We um, uh, had a lot of questions when we looked at this photography because we in the archive, when you looked at you know, the uh, specific photography where you see a band and you see some people dancing, um, it would just say something like Bantu Club. And, um, and we needed more information, so we made use of um, the, um, we got in contact with the newspapers, the local newspapers in different languages, in English, in German, in Afrikaans. Um, and we asked the general public to help us to identify uh, who the musicians were in the, in the photographs, um, where they were performing, um, what was the name of the band, what type of music did they play. Um, we asked the general audience to also go back in the memory to um, tell us more about the time of that photography and things they did. And we got a lot of contacts through Facebook, email, uh, through phone calls, um, SMS, uh, where we got uh, information from elderly people. And from there, we decided we need to travel um, and meet some of these people um, to ask them more questions. So we started doing interviews. Um, and through the interviews, we discovered a whole sea of um, information and historical uh, um, important things, especially when it comes to music and when it comes to apartheid when it comes to the laws of the country and, and, and so forth. And many times when we did these interviews, we also uh, learned that um, many of the children and grandchildren of these people who we spoke to also were not aware of this information. Somehow people put you know, the times of apartheid just behind them and uh, they closed it together with the politics of the country and they um, did not um, uh, um, stay in that time. And for this reason, it was somehow forgotten. And um, we got a lot of beautiful stories uh, through this. Yeah,